Hey guys, uh, a bit more serious subject today, however, it has a good resolution. Now, uh, it's currently Wednesday. Now, last Thursday, which is six days ago, um, I ordered from a company called Value Basket. I'm not going to put any links in the bottom um, because I see links as advertising or endorsements, so I'm not going to put any links. So, I ordered uh, a new camera, a Nikon D5300, um, quite simply because I wanted to start taking nice photos. It's got good video capabilities, um, and obviously I'd like you to see from my quality of videos, I'd like to do something a little bit better. So, I've been researching this camera for about a month. Um, and I do my usual trick. I go into a brick and mortar store and I find, get expert advice. I find out the camera that I want that will fulfill my needs. Then I go out and I buy the camera from the cheapest place I can find. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of online ordering because when I want stuff, I want it and I want it now. However, I'm usually prepared to wait the, uh, a week maybe. So, this company, I see them online, they're called Value Basket. Now, um, because it's electronic equipment, obviously I don't want to uh, um, order from abroad. So, I've seen some sites, they look Chinese, they look, you know, I don't go onto eBay for something as serious as this. Um, the camera has a retail price of about £600. Um, so, obviously it's something you don't want to mess about with. If it was something that cost a tenner, and I'd lost a tenner because... They're useless. Okay, fair enough. I'll put it down to experience. So, um, value basket. They were advertising this camera at three hundred and twenty-four pounds ninety-nine pence. I thought that's a little bit too uh, too good to be true. I had a look. I checked the website. They um, they have a Union Jack on the website, which suggests that it's a British website. They have a British telephone number. Um, I spoke, uh, I rang the telephone number. I asked for some advice. Um, I got greeted by a chappy with an Indian accent, which uh, I'm not going to judge on that because A, um, if somebody is working for the good of the company and they have product knowledge, um, that's absolutely fine. You know, jobs, a job. Um, maybe they need to um, to uh, uh, what you call it source out their customer service to cheap maybe that's how they make the prices so cheap or maybe it was an Indian chap who was actually living in the UK I've seen that before um, I've worked in a call center and my one of my colleagues was Indian and every time someone rang up they everyone was like oh bloody Indian call centers and he's like, but I'm not in India, I'm in Britain. Um, so anyway, so I ordered this camera. Um, I ordered a bag and I ordered a tripod. Nothing major. The total value of the order was £401.97. Um, I think I'm on a good wage, but nonetheless, that's still a lot of money. I placed the order two days later. They still haven't packed. I've got no email to say it's been shipped or anything like that. So I ring them up and cut a long story short. The more I ring them, the more suspicious I get. I then start to look up the company um, and I found them on a site called Trustpilot. And although they've got some good reviews, um, credit where credit is due, they've also had an awful lot of bad reviews. Um, Orders taken so long, um, it confirmed that it was actually a Chinese or sorry, a Hong Kong based site. So I rung this customer service number again and I asked them, Where are you based? and they said, We're based in Hong Kong and that the goods will be shipped. Well, they actually said that the goods are shipped uh, from, from all over the world, um, they source products and they ship them. Um, and that it, it's a very good likelihood that this, this this cam will be shipped from China. So I've sent them an email to say I wish to cancel the order. Uh, and the reason I want to cancel the order is I read uh, on one of these Trustpilot reviews that they too had a, a they bought a camera, not the same camera, but um, 
if you buy a camera from China, it's actually built to Chinese spec for the Chinese market and you get the warranty for China. And that warranty isn't actually valid for a UK resident. For a UK resident to have the full warranty, they have to have the UK spec. Um, so obviously I don't want a camera, um, if I bought something for 50 quid, um, that's, you know, if I buy a camera for 50 quid, it's good and it lasts me a year or two. Um, I call that disposable. That's absolutely fine. A 400 pound camera. Um, I hope touch wood, nothing ever goes wrong, but I do want that warranty just in case. So obviously I've canceled the order. Other reviews that I've read um, is that um, they're very slow on the refunds. Some people have been waiting a month for a refund. So obviously I've spent the money. I used my debit card so the money has left my account. Um, and I won't get my money back until about three days after they issue a refund. So thankfully um, tomorrow is my payday. I'm able to actually buy a camera um, and then I can wait for the refund. Um, but obviously I do want that money back. Um, so tomorrow I shall be going into Argus and I shall be buying the same three products for £526, which is £126 more expensive. The actual camera is £479.99, which is still below retail price. But it is £155 more than uh, Value Basket. Um, however, um, I placed the order today. I'll go and pick it up tomorrow and pay for it tomorrow. So, with regards to refunds, obviously I'm worried now that it's going to take months for this refund to come through. Or it won't come through at all. So, I rang my bank. Now, I, sh I shop. I bank with Lloyds Bank. Um and obviously i i assume that there's a common banking practice um however i am stressing that i i, I bank with, with lloyd so if if your bank is slightly different um, i apologize so this is what happened i rang them up and i explained the situation to them i said i bought this camera I said, I don't want it now because of various reasons. I think the company's dodgy. I said, can you do anything about the, uh, about the transaction? <coughs> and they said, uh, no. Because I've placed an order, I've given my authority. However, I am protected. And I'm protected in two ways. The first one no longer applies for, to me because I've asked for a refund. But this, I will tell you anyway. Firstly, the law has recently changed. Um, the updated law is that if you have not received goods within 15 working days, so I will say 21 days, that's three weeks, 15 working days, then you, can, you are entitled to a dispute. And what you will do is you will ring your bank you will say, I've made this payment on this, this debit card. I have not received my goods. And then they chase it up. Now I'll pause it there because I'll tell you what happens next. The second way that you're covered, very, very similar, but very slightly different. If you have requested a refund and you have not received the refund within 15 working days, which is three weeks, same applies. You can ring up the bank and say, I've requested a refund um, and I've not received it. Now, there is a little catch. If you have made placed an order and you have not received your goods within, let's say, 14 working days, which is one day before you can, you can do this, and then you request a refund, it's 15 days from the refund, not 15 days from the day you place the order. This is why the first no longer applies. 
once I have sent an email to say I want a refund, then the 15 days from the set purchase date no longer applies. So once you've put that request in to, in my case, Lloyds Bank, they will begin an investigation. They will refund the money and then they will take things further from your end. Now, I said to them, how long will it take for me to get the money back? Expecting them to say perhaps a week. And she said, well, we always say two to four days, but in some cases I've known it for a day or two. So, and I said, fine. Now they actually pay you the money back before they've clawed the money back from, uh, from in this case, value basket. So that's, that's really good news. Now, I can't report that it's actually happened. Um, I've actually uh, requested a refund today. Um, oh, they also said that they want evidence. Um, but an email from the company saying, yes, you can have a refund is sufficient evidence. One question I forgot to ask is if you've placed the order and then you ask for a refund within the 15 days and then you've not had the refund, if you've not received a confirmation letter within the 15 days, but you have placed the order and not received the goods within 15 days, does that mean that you can do it from the purchase date? So that one I've, I've not checked. So I'm going to summarize. Um, first of all, when you order any, before you make any orders, um, check out the company. Uh, in my case, I put into a search into Google, value basket reviews, and read through the reviews. Once you've got the review, read them with common sense. Bear in mind that most people will complain when things go wrong, but they don't compliment when things go right. So you will often see more bad reviews than good reviews. Um, so read them with some kind of, um, obviously apply common sense, just because Argus, for example, will have bad reviews. Think about how many transactions Argus make. Um, but also read the bad reviews. Um, it might be that they're complaining about bad customer service. If one review out of a thousand is about bad customer service, I would say that that's the customer service advisors having a bad day or maybe the customers being nasty to the customer advisor. Um, so yeah, read the reviews. What things that you're looking for is the, is how reputable the company are. Um, have you heard of the company? Um, my second order I placed with Argus because everybody knows Argus. They advertise on TV. They're a good proper company. Um, there might be things going on politically, but that's not my concern. I've ordered from Argus before and in this particular instance, I'm actually picking up from a brick and mortar store. Um, the second piece of advice I'm going to offer you is if you have a credit card, pay with the credit card. Um, I believe that credit card companies offer a lot more protection than, than debit cards. Um, you obviously have protection with a debit card. Um, that's what I've used in this case. I've used the debit card because I don't actually have a credit card. Um, but you do get some protection. Um, and, and what's something else that might just save the day for me, um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but when I paid for the item, on the screen you get like the little Lloyds Bank secure payment thing. Um, your transaction is secure. If you're looking for anything like that when the payment comes up, it then means it's a secure payment. Um, but I think the best advice I can offer, having had my fingers burnt, slightly no fingers burnt is probably a wrong expression because I haven't haven't lost the money yet I've just not got it back I've warmed my fingers sorry I waffle um, 
Personally, I think from this experience, if the item is too cheap, I'm not going to buy it. Um, we all want to save money. I appreciate that. Um, but when you, in this case, I'm looking at a camera that's almost half of the um, the retail price, and it's coming from another country. Um, can we trust it? I'm not saying it's untrustworthy. If I was Chinese or I was living in China or both, then obviously I could buy this camera for £324. It'd be a Chinese warranty. I'd be a resident in China. Everyone would be happy. Um, just fully research the product and just be aware that if you don't receive your goods within 15 days, um, or if you've requested a refund, you don't receive your refund within 15 days, straight on to the bank. Take evidence. Don't be one of these people who delete emails. I've actually kept every email. I always keep emails until uh, goods are delivered anyway. Um, but I've got about six or seven correspondence emails. Um, your order has been placed. Thank you for your payment, this, that and the other. Um, and also, a few days after you make the transaction, it really doesn't hurt to ring up internet banking and say, can you confirm that this payment has gone through? And that should serve as the sale date, um, because obviously they won't take the payment before you've placed the order. So, yeah, so value basket. Poor experience this time. I'm not saying they're a bad company. I'm saying I had a poor experience. Cheap products from overseas. Um, not saying that they're poor products, but you need to sort of have a look. Are they for you? In this particular case, it's a camera. It's a digital SLR camera. Um, it's a very expensive product. I need to know I'm getting what I'm paying for. Um, and secondly, there is protection from the bank. Um, so use your bank. Obviously, um, there are other payment methods. Um, for example, you can get these prepaid credit cards. I would say for online purchases uh, of this major, maybe prepaid card payment cards aren't the answer. That being said, I don't know much about prepaid credit cards. Do they offer the protection? that your bank and your credit card will offer. Ideally, what you want to be doing is going into a bricks and mortar store and paying with a credit card. Um, so with that, I'll leave you to look up things, uh, ponder this. Um, there is a silver lining on my cloud. Um, unfortunately, I may have to wait up to three weeks. But on the plus side, I want to buy a new laptop. Um, the laptop is going to be £900, which for me is about three weeks wages. When I can save up for this laptop, because obviously I'm now starting from zero, um, my refund should be through within about four weeks. Um, it's now the beginning of November. Uh, the refund should come through just before Christmas. Um, so it looks like I may still have um, my Christmas present on my new laptop. So... Take care, guys.